Alrighty, for this video, we're going to do a magnesium bar fire. Now, I like magnesium to help start fires, especially when your uh, tinder source is kind of damp or, or you don't have the best conditions because it's so hot and it burns for long enough that it can get some marginal tinder going. Um, so today we're going to bust out the old Rat 7 right here. I haven't used this knife for a long time. This happens to be the knife that my uh, magnesium bar is in the sheath of. I keep a mag bar in this one. Normally I have ferro rods in my knife sheath, but this one I got a mag bar with a ferro rod on the outside of it. A little bone, uh, little bone handle on there. It's kind of cool. Anyway, so that's what we're going to do today. So, first thing we got to do though, we need to make a little bit of tinder. I've been messing around with bamboo lately, or actually this is river cane. But uh, it's pretty much the same thing as bamboo, it just doesn't grow as thick. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and get some tinder off of this guy to light up. So you just take the blade of your knife, this stuff is on the stuff on the outside, and you're just going to scrape it right there on the blade of your knife, back and forth. So, we'll take all this stuff that we just did here like this. We're going to make a little tinder bundle with it. This stuff works excellently as tinder. It's like that. So now, I found kind of the enemy. It's kind of windy right now too, but I've kind of found the enemy of magnesium is wind. On a windy day, it's very hard to use magnesium because it just seems like it blows all over the place. So now what we're going to do is take the back edge of our knife and we're just going to get a bunch of magnesium shavings here. Okay, let's see if that's enough here. Just gonna pull all these together here. Alrighty, can you guys see that there with the you got magnesium shavings in there? The pile of it. Some of that bamboo got in there with the magnesium shavings, that's okay. Just like this. So we'll just pile all of it up that we can. This is why it's hard when it's windy because this stuff just blows all over the place. It's so lightweight. Okay guys, now that we got our magnesium pile going on right there from our scrapings off of our magnesium bar, we'll take our ferrocerium rod here and we'll just throw some sparks right onto that magnesium pile. There we go. See how that's going? Then we'll take our tender. That burns really, really hot. We'll take our tender and throw it right on top of there. And that'll light up our tender that we made. And that is how to start a fire with your magnesium bar and ferrocerium rod and your RAT7. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching. And, uh, Y'all have a good day.